Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have another 3v3 Iron Man, and it's going to be $150 per team, so the winning team will win $150, and the losing team will lose $150, and also make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord down below in the description if you want to go ahead and play in anything like this, and let's hop right in. So we're going to see Taylor Swept on Team 1 versus Extra on Team 2, and then we're going to go ahead and see Taylor... Go ahead and win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands. We have Bird Call, Imperm, Dinatherium, Bird Call, and Nerval. So, you know, if they're playing this, they're playing the small world. Um, then they have E, Telly, Stain, Seer, Boots, and Droll. Okay, so, yeah. Droll, Droll is obviously very good versus this deck. They're going to go ahead and think here. It takes time, it's an Iron Man, and we disgusting. Oh, right, co. <laughs> Normal summon out Nerval, and then special summon out Dinatherium. They're gonna get rid of those, go for Blossom. Nerval effect to surge. Nerval will go ahead and grab the Fractal. And then drop draw on Lockbird. Now they're gonna activate Bird Call, and this will go ahead and dump. So go ahead, dump the Wagtail. And then Blossom Effect, Special Summon Out Fractal. So I think that they dumped there just so that way they could get the third in Graveyard to summon out some more. Yeah, they're going to Banish and then summon some more. And then Fractal Effect, go ahead and get rid of itself to dump. And that's going to dump the Sparrow. Set the Imperm. And then End Phase, some more Effect, Special Summon Out the Apex Avion. So through Drawn Lockbird still sets up a Negate and Imperm. Uh, has follow up and then pass turn draw fusion destiny now they're going to go ahead and start off with normal summon stain special summon boots and then overlay those for break sword and then battle phase attack the apex avion main phase two go for downer and then zeus you may wonder like why didn't they attack blossom uh that would get hurt by something like a chalice on blossom or a droplet on break sword i think that's why they decided to not do that they just wanted to go for zeus um and then go ahead and zeus effect and then they're going to chain the apex avion and then zeus effect the wipe chain imperm so that's going to get negated and destroyed and this is going to go to hand and then activate fusion destiny but Fusion Destiny is very solid here, and they still have like Fog Blade from the Boots in the Graveyard too. So Summon Out Enforcer, and then Activate Boots Effect, Banish itself, Ghost Surge, and then that's going to go grab Fog Blade. And obviously they're going to be popping some more here um, before the end of the turn. Yeah, go ahead and out that, get the Graveyard Effect. And then set Fog Blade, set e -Telly. Pass, draw bird call. Wow, they've seen all three bird call. That's unfortunate. Also, if they play Ogre in their deck, and then Itali can summon Ogre, which is pretty cool. So they're going to start off by activating bird call. Bird call to go search, grab the Warbler from the deck to the hand, and then they are going to think here a lot and they're going to try to end all right um i guess that's fair because like blossom effect the special summon like uh you summon out warbler that's only if they even let you summon they might just go ahead and hit you with like a fog blade there um Pass, draw e -telly. hey, a couple e -tellies. So, they're going to go ahead and activate e -telly. e -telly to go ahead and summon out the wielder. And then e -telly to summon out the tracker from the deck. And then they're going to get rid of those. Go for Cherubini. Cherubini effect the dump. Ch Cherubini dump the ancient cloak. And then uh, normal summon out the seer. And it's... You know, protected by Cherubini, so it would survive there. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to see them emit defeat there. So now moving on in the game two, we're going to see birds go first. Opening hands, we have Warbler, Berry, Wagtail, Small World, and Dinatherium. Once again, opening up Dinatherium. Uh, I wonder if they're playing multiple or just playing one. You know, some people have talked about playing multiple of this card. Um, 
But then they have Fusion Destiny, Lightning Storm, Boots, Shade, and Boots. So they don't have a hand trap here. Uh, these hard going second cards versus the bird deck are not really that good unless if you draw like multiples of them. So they're going to special summon effect, special summon out the wagtail from hand, and then wagtail effect to go search the bird call. Yeah, this is really good for them. And then, you know, the opponent doesn't have droll there, and then go for starling, starling effect, go search out nerval. And then activate Bird Call to go search Swallow. And then Special Summon out Swallow, Special Summon out Nerval, overlay those, go for Starling, Starling Effect to go search out Sparrow. And then turn those into the F0, Nerval Effect to go search. And then Nerval will go ahead and acquire the kit from the deck to the hand. And then go for the Draco, Normal Summon Kit, Effect Banish 4. And then that's gonna Special Summon out the Omen. Get rid of those, go for Blossom, Kit, Omen, and then, you know, Omen, go search Kuraz, uh, Kit, Dump, Oath, because you need to get the Beast at the end of the combo, and this is how you get there, and then this also gets you to, like, the Double Dragon Lords, which is the Beast Warrior, and then Blossom, Special Summon out Sparrow, Sparrow Effect, go search out DD Crow, which is pretty good in this matchup, and then get rid of those, go for some Morgue. Blossom effect, draw Nerval, and then they're gonna put back Small World, discard the Dynatherium, special summon out Kuraz, Kuraz effect, they're gonna banish, go for double Dragon Lords, and then special summon out Barry, and special summon out Sparrow, and then they're just gonna overlay those, and then that will go ahead and go for Robin. End phase, some more, go for Apex Avion, so here they have Oath, Apex Avion, double Dragon Lords, Robin, and then F Zero. Like, it's it's just so good. Pass, draw Jackalope. Then they're going to go ahead and set cards. Um, Jackalope effect, hit boots, special draw, draws them to a snake. And then they're going to use the snake effect. Snake will hit boots. All right, all right. Draws into a draw on Lockbird. Hey, that would have been good uh, last turn. Go ahead, try to attack over Robin. Um, for a hundred, but they're gonna activate double dragon lords to bounce that and then nerval effect to go search nerval go grab fractal and Then main phase two snake effect hit itself snake graveyard effect so summon that out and then overlay for break sword and then yeah, you just go ahead and bounce that lightning storm call monsters um they could go ahead and oath that there if they want to. Um, I guess it depends, like, if they're afraid. Like, if you oath negate Lightning Storm, then, like, Mystic Mind won't hurt as much because you can Apex Avion negate. You already went through double Dragon Lords, but... I, mean, I think it's pretty obvious that, like... I mean, honestly, do you even negate this? Because, like, all it's doing is it's getting rid of some more Robin, Double Dragon Lords. This gets you follow-up. You still have Apex, Avion. Oh, but then, like, nah, you, you, never mind, never mind, never mind. You, you have to. You have to because it's getting rid of the Beast Warrior. Yeah. 100% you have to negate this with one card or another. And then Banish Boots to go search. Uh, go grab the Fog Blade. And then Activate Shade. Normal Summon Droll. And then they're going to get rid of Shade, go for Link Spider, and then turn those into Anaconda. Uh, go ahead, bounce that, activate Fusion Destiny. So then now they know Fusion Destiny and Fog Blade, they let this resolve, and they just submit defeat. So, moving on into game number three now. We are going to see Phantom Knights go ahead, decide to go first. Opening hands, we have DD Crow, Imperm, Gamma, Talent, Kit. Wow, okay, so four going second cards plus Kit. And they have Snake, Wielder, Celestial, Droll, and Torn Scales. So, you know, they can't complain about their hand. You know, you did draw one card you don't want to draw, but that happens when you play the Bricks. Effect, Discard. Then they're going to Chain Imperm, Chain DD Crow. Okay. Um, so they pretty much just spent, like, two hand traps on a card and a half. Because, like, this is still just a level 3 monster. And then turn those into Cherubini. Cherubini effect, dump graph. Uh, graph effect. They let this go through. So special summon out Seer. I think they're just going to gamma the Rusty effect. 
That's like the safer way to do it. Go for Rusty, Seer effect, special summon back out Cherubini. And then Rusty effect, and then the chain Gamma there. So destroy that, special summon out Gamma, special summon out Driver. And then pass, draw Bird Call. Then they're gonna normal summon out Kit. Uh, get rid of that, go for Omirage. Like, Maybe you go ahead and you kit beat over Cherubini to play around Droll better. Um, cause now you're in like this is actually gonna be really bad for them, right? Cause like they just go ahead kit dump Nerval, Nerval goes search, get hit with Droll and Lockbird. Um, they're gonna activate Talons, and then. That's just going to hit the Celestial back. And then they go ahead and pass. And like now they have full Phantom Knight combo. They have Torn Skills in Graveyard. A Foolish Burial on board. Draws Called by. Go dump the Ancient Cloak. Ancient Cloak. Banish itself and go search. And then that's going to grab the Boots. Torn Scales. Special Summon itself out. And then Special Summon out Boots. Overlay those, go for Sea Dragon, Sea Dragon effect, summon out the Ancient Cloak. Then they're going to go Battle Phase, beat over, and then attack and attack. Um, yeah, it looks like they, I was gonna say, it looks like they forgot that this game's attack. And then main phase two, go for Anaconda, summon Zeus. And then activate the Anaconda effect, pay 2k, dump the Fusion Destiny and the Bricks, go for Enforcer, and then Banish Boots to go search for Fog Blade. And then they're going to go ahead, set to pass, draw Swallow, and at this point, like, it's definitely just GG's. So they're going to go main phase, and then they just submit the feed. So we're going to see Asuka is next. Go ahead, we're going to see Asuka versus Extra. And then we're going to see Asuka win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. And they will go ahead and decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Got to love to see it. Opening hands. We have Droplet, Alistair, Nib, Meltdown, Addy Servant. Not bad. They have Droplet, Eteli, Nib, Ancient Cloak, and Junk Forward. So we also saw Droll in their main deck game one of last match. So it looks like they're main decking Droll, Droplet, Nib. Um, their hand would not... I mean, their hand's not bad, like, going first or second. Like, if I open this hand blindly into a match, I'm pretty happy, but... Versus Invoked, like, Nib's not really gonna do anything. Um, and then they're gonna get rid of that, go for Amrage, and then turn that into Secure Garden, activate Invocation, Banish, Banish, go for Makaba, and then Invocation Effect to grab back the Alistair. And then that's uh that's pretty solid there, obviously. And then they nad your servant. Like it, they're just gonna go for Winda. Like it, it, it's pretty obvious. Like you see an Alistair and nad your servant in hand, and like you already know how to play it out. Apcon to go search and dump. Uh, they're gonna search Schism, and then they're gonna dump Schism and summon Ecclesia effect. Go search Maximus. And then banish special summon out Maximus. Maximus effect. Well, they're gonna activate Nib before. Pretty much just force Macaba to get rid of a monster, and then Maximus effect. Dump Ash and Construct. They're gonna dump Breaksword and Amirage. So I think this card's like definitely worth playing in the deck. Um, then they're gonna get Construct effect. Add back Schism. And then activate Meltdown. Meltdown. Go grab Alistair. Set Droplet, Set Schism, End Phase, Ash. Ash will go search out the Knight. And then pass turn. Draw Fog Blade. So they're going to special summon out the Junk Forward. And then normal summon out Ancient Cloak. And then overlay those for the Sea Dragon. Um, yeah, so they're just going for this because this can be Zeus. And then go to battle phase. Battle phase, attacking Ecclesia. 
Uh, you know, it won't be destroyed or anything. Main phase two, go into Zeus. Uh, they summon Downer, then they go Schism, and then send the Downer. Um, activate the Zeus effect, and then they're going to chain Droplet to negate. I think that they were hoping that they would, like, activate Makaba effect. Because then you just, like, chain Droplet, get rid of Zeus, and, like, that also dodges Knight. Then... Um, they're going to go ahead and Ancient Cloak, Banish itself, and then go Search, go grab Boots, activate e Telly, e Telly to summon Owl Wielder. Now they're going to link those off, go for Anaconda, and then on Summon they're going to activate Knight, you know, playing play around the Droplet there. Go ahead and negate that, they admit defeat. Now moving on into Game 2. We are going to see our Phantom Knight fellow decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Invocation, Fusion Destiny, Alistair, Maximus, Nadir Servant. So they don't open up like a hand trap here or something like that. Still not a bad hand though. And they have Fog Blade, Snake, Ancient Cloak, Troll, Anti-Spell. Ooh, this is, this is pretty nice. So they're going to set, Normal Summon, Snake Effect. And then let's see, roll the dice. What's gets hit? What gets hit? Alright, so they hit Snake, Snake Graveyard Effect. Not even bad, it's just literally a level 3 extender at that point. And then get rid of those, go for Cherubini. Cherubini Effect, Dump Graph, Graph Effect to summon out Seer from the deck. And then they're going to get rid of those and go for Rusty, Seer Effect to special out the Cherubini. And then they're going to activate Rusty Effect to go Dump and Set. So that will go ahead, dump the Torn Scales, and then set Fog Blade. And then Banish Ancient Cloak to go search. Um, that's going to go grab Boots. And then Torn Scales affects summon itself out. So we are going to get to find out if they're playing like the artifacts. And they're going to dump Fog Blade, go dump Ragged Gloves, Special Summon Out Boots, overlay those for Sea Dragon. Sea Dragon effect, put the Ancient Cloak on board in attack position. Then they're going to get rid of those, go for Dagda, and then Ancient Cloak effect, target, and then chain Dagda to go set. So yeah, they, they are playing the artifact stuff here. Uh, go set the Scythe. And then they're going to banish Fog Blade. Special summon back out of level 3 body, summon out the Torn Scales, and then overlay those, go for Break Sword, Rusty Effect, Pop Break Sword, uh, Break Sword Effect, Special Summon out 2, and then just get rid of those for Anaconda. Unless? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, go, go for Anaconda. Um, then, they still can go ahead and use their Graveyard Effect, um, but they're going to go ahead and Anaconda dump here first, and then... Dump those, summon out Enforcer, and then activate Ragged Gloves, banish itself to go dump, and this is going to allow them to play around the droplet, because they're going to Enforcer, pop Anaconda, you know, draw phase, fog blade, summon, try to pop, even if they do negate, well, it wouldn't even matter, because, like, uh, I, like, either way, you're just beating it, like, cause you, you, you open, like, a really, 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 really solid hand here. Um... Also, did they... Oh, they probably just don't play Wings. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Did Like, Boots didn't even search this turn. So, um, maybe they're just keeping it in the graveyard for, like, next turn. But... Yeah, they, they definitely don't play wings or anything. Like, there, there's shade that can be searched. Um, but it seems like they're just holding it there, I guess. And then Enforcer End Phase, Pop Anaconda, Enforcer Graveyard Effect. And then they're going to pass, draw evenly, activate the Anti-Spell. And then Dagda to go set Lancia. And then Lancia is just going to, like, be evenly on top of what they already have. And then Fog Blade, Banish, go ahead, summon out the Break Sword, Rusty Effect to pop, pop Scythe, Scythe Effect, summon itself out, Effect, lock out of the extra deck. And then Standby Phase, Hero comes back. And then 
they admit defeat going on to game three. We're going to see the Invoke player go first. Opening hands, we have TC Boo, Fusion Destiny, DD Crow, Schism, Meltdown. Hey, you know, like Schism's not good to draw, but the rest of the hand is very, very, very solid. They have Celestial, Driver, oh, Lancia, Snake, Stain. So they're going to activate Meltdown, Meltdown, go grab Alistair, and then they're going to normal summon out Alistair, Alistair effect to go search, go grab the invocation, and then get rid of that to go for Omirage, get rid of that, go for Secure Garden. Now they're going to drop Lancia here to play around the hard draw on Maximus. Um, like if they, if they had Prosperity, they would have done it prior. Um... Like, if you open up Prosperity and Meltdown, you Prosperity first. Because if you activate Meltdown and go search Alistair, then get hit with Droll. Like, your Alistair just doesn't do anything. But if you activate Prosperity and hit something, like, I don't know, a Hand Trap, an Ash Blossom maybe, I don't know, hit something. Then, like, Meltdown just wasn't doing anything anyways. Um, so I think, like, starting with Prosperity in some scenario like that would be better. But... Still is a very good spot for them. You know, they have Enforcer, TC Boo, Crow, Follow Up. They draw Gamma. And they're going to activate Snake Effect. Snake will go ahead and hit Driver Summon. Draw into a Fog Blade. Normal Summon Out Stained. And then they just let this go. They're going to set Fog Blade. And then Enforcer Effect. The reason why they're setting Fog Blade is so that way Cherubini can protect. Um, so now they're going to go ahead and Enforcer. Uh, pop itself, Pop Snake, Enforcer Effect. And the reason they're popping Snake is because if they have like a Warrior Extender, they have TC Boo. Uh, battle Phase, Attack Over, no damage. Pass, Draw Meltdown. And then they're going to go Main Phase, Activate Invocation, Invocation to Banish Alistair and Driver, go for Makaba. And then on Resolution, they're going to Activate Enforcer because they can't chain right here because of Meltdown. And then Invocation, put itself back to grab the Alistair. Now they're going to Normal Summon out Alistair, Alistair Effect, go search Invocation. Like, it's very obvious who's going to win this game. DD Crow, hit the Fog Blade. And then they're going to set Meltdown, set Schism, set Invocation, Celestial, Banish Draw. And that draws into Terraforming and another TC Boo. Activate Meltdown, go grab Alistair. Now they're going to activate Invocation. Um, banish the Alistair and Lancia, go for Makaba, Battle Phase, Beat Over. Um, this isn't a game, so, I mean, it doesn't matter that it's not a game, I'm just like stating that. So, attack, attack, go for VFD, imagine. Then, pass, draw Lancia. So, we're gonna see next is Sean Pittman. Uh, both teams have two players left at this point, so it's down to a 2v2. And then we're going to see Asaka versus I'm Sean Pittman. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Asaka win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot and decide to go first. 40 versus 41. Opening hands, we have Meltdown, Terraforming, Fusion, Destiny, Ash, Alistair opens three Alistairs. Then they have Droplet, Ash, Natty Servant, Called by Punishment, so it's the mirror match now. They're going to go ahead, Normal Summon out Alistair. Alistair Effect, Chain Ash Blossom, and then they're going to activate Terraforming to go search Meltdown. Activate Meltdown, grab Alistair, and then Fusion Destiny. Um, Fusion Destiny will go ahead, dump, and summon. So, you know, chooses to not go for like a Secure Garden or anything like that, or Amirage. Pass, draw Meltdown. Then they're going to start off by activating Meltdown. Then they're going to chain Enforcer Effect to go ahead, pop, chain Droplet, get rid of Punishment to negate. And then go Resolve, grab the Alistair, Normal Summon Alistair Effect, chain Ash, chain Called by to hit that. And they're going to go Search Invocation. Um, So here, uh, they go for, yeah, they go for Purga Trio. And then the Alistair effect on Purgatrio. That's going to be up to 39. Um, 
it's like 39 beat over and 37 beat over yeah that it's just game with Nadir's servant as long as they go for it of course Nadir's servant dump the omega grab the ecclesia special summon out ecclesia ecclesia effect go search knight and then they're gonna special summon out knight battle phase and then attack that drop the alistair and then yeah they just met defeat so going on the game two now we're gonna see asuka decide to go first opening hands we have celestial alistair terraforming schism ash weird hand um it's just alistair with ash and they have droll ash storm ecclesia storm but they only have one engine piece so they're going to normal summon out Alistair, go ahead Ash Blossom that, and then activate Terraforming, Terraforming to go search out Meltdown, and then they're going to drop Draw and Lockbird there, and hey, they're fine with this because they're just going to Meltdown next turn anyways. Pass, Draw Meltdown, and then they're going to start off by activating Meltdown, Chain Ash Blossom. Uh, pretty obvious that they don't already have an Alistair, otherwise they would just start with Alistair to play around Droll. And then summon Ecclesia, Ecclesia effect to go search, grab Knight, and then battle phase attack. So, um, this is a weird, sp like both their lightning storms are just unusable. They draw Prosperity, it's a good draw. And then activate Prosperity, Prosperity will go ahead, banish 6, you know, if you open up Prosperity Meltdown, you want to activate Prosperity, play around the roll. Um, so they're banishing like the Shadal stuff there. And look at the top six. We're going to see Nadir Servants there. And then they're going to grab the Invocation. And then put the rest back to the bottom of the deck there. And then... So you added Invocation. Correct. Activate Meltdown. And then... That will just go ahead and search out Alistair. And then activate the invocation. Invocation will banish Alistair and Droll, go for Raijin. And then on resolution, Raijin effect to go ahead and set. They can't chain anything because Meltdown, normal summon Alistair. Alistair effect, go search invocation. And then get rid of those, go for Anaconda. Now they're thinking here, they're going to activate invocation to grab back Alistair. And then, thinking once again, they're going to activate Invocation to Banish, Banish, go for Agos, Agos effect, pop the Ecclesia, and now they can uh, Anaconda effect to go ahead and go for the Enforcer, and then Enforcer will be extremely strong here, they're going to pop the set, battle phase, attack, attack, um... Is there a reason that they pop the set there? Don't you just attack and then pop? So that way, like, you get an extra 250 damage in through Anaconda. feel like you can get punished. Oh, wait, wait. Um. Yeah, it looks like they did it on the resolution. Um. I actually want to reread this. Because I remember something about how, like, the resolution wouldn't work with Meltdown. But I want to reread this just to make sure. Um, so the activation of your card, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um, also, your opponent cannot activate. Um, why do I feel like Anaconda doesn't work with this? I'm, I'm fairly certain, like, that's how it was ruled before. Hmm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, that, like, this wouldn't protect, like, whatever Anaconda summons. I'm pretty sure, like, we went over this before, like, when people were, like, dumping shit off Fusion and activating the Graveyard Effects, but, um, I guess that's just something I'll have to, like, look into again, just to, like, like, update myself on the on the, on the situation 
so that way I know. And then they're going to attack and attack. Pass, draw, dasher, and then they admit defeats. Now moving into game three, we are going to see I'm Sean Pittman. Decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Mine, Knight, Ecclesia, Droll, Fusion, Destiny, Prosperity, Driver, Meltdown, Ecclesia, Ash. And then Prosperity, look at three. Grabs Nadir's Servant. And then put those back to the bottom of the deck. And then activate Droll. Imagine if this was Gamma. They, like, we know they play Omega, too, so they would, like, get a free Omega out of it. Oh, it, it would actually just be so insane. Draw Ecclesia. Uh, the Fusion Destiny, Chain Ash Blossom, Normal Summon Ecclesia, Ecclesia, Effect to Go Search, and then now we'll go ahead and grab the Punishment. Attack! And then Set Punishment, Pass, Draw Prosperity, and then they're going to start off by activating Meltdown. Meltdown, go search Alistair, and then normal summon Alistair, Alistair effect, Alistair, go grab the invocation, and then activate invocation, invocation to banish draw on Alistair, go for Raijin, and then invocation effect, they probably should have just started with prosperity this turn, right, because like, once again that like helps you play around draw better, and also Lancia. But Invocation. Grab the Alistair. And then they're going to go Nadir Servant. Nadir Servant. Dump Elder. Go search Knight. And then Elder Effect. To try to pop Ecclesia. And they're thinking here. Because um, they could go ahead and like Chain Knight. Negate Raijin. And then like Punishment would work this turn. Otherwise, like, punishment just doesn't work this turn, because whatever they target, they just chain the set it, and then there's no attack to compare to, so then this card just doesn't do anything. Uh, then they're going to summon Ecclesian, search punishment, battle phase, attack, and attack. Main phase 2, prosperity, prosperity, banishing 3, and then looking at the top 3, they're going to go ahead and grab Droplet out of those. Uh, puts Fusion Destiny and Ecclesia back to the bottom, and then set, set, pass, draw Imperm, and then they're going to activate Mystic Mine, yep, that goes through, pass, draw Ash, oh, so there's going to be Mystic Mine, huh, well, I'm skipping until Mystic Mine's not here. Alright, everyone had commented before whenever Mystic Mine gets activated just to skip. Um, something interesting about like these decks is that... Actually, I want to bring it up. Something interesting about these decks is that Invocation can help you from getting decked out. But also at the same time, like, this player has DD Crow. So like, those Invocations that are going to try to help you not deck out... These DD Crows are going to go in. The opponent could also just have Cosmic in their deck. And really punish this player for not playing. Um, but we will find out. It looks like, you know, they're, they're deck thinning here. They're trying to look for something. We see Judgment. Which won't actually do anything versus like the DD Crow. Yeah, just uh, keep on going. Eventually, kind of surprised they didn't set one of those judgments way before. Okay. All right, all right, all right. It's about to start getting interesting. All right, they're gonna go for Anaconda, and then they can judgment this if they want to to go ahead and out Mystic Mine. And then. They're going to set called by pass. There we go. Mystic Mine outed. And the only way somebody would like do this, like judgment their summon in the pass, is if they know they have enough protection to keep themselves in the game. So they're going to pass, draw Natty's Servant. 
And then they're just going to set Alistair and then pass. So now they draw Nadir's servant. Now they're going to go ahead and call by target Ash. Um, which is great because like, they don't even have Ash in hand. If only they knew, like, called by. I mean, like, they have the free up a spot there to go ahead and play this, but, like, otherwise, like, called by on DD Crow, whoo, it'd be insane. So, banish, banish, Agos, Agos, pop Alistair, and then invocation, chain DD Crow, and then activate invocation, they're going to chain imperm, target Agos, which is going to try to negate the invocation here, but then they're going to chain Judgment, and then Banish Alistair, Banish Knight, Summon Makaba, um, Agos Effect Banish, yeah, accidentally switched the defense when they're trying to press Declare, chain Imperm on it, and then that will resolve, um, Normal Summon out Ash Blossom, now they're going to go ahead and punishment target Makaba. They're gonna chain Alistair on Makaba to make it too big for this to send anything. And then they just submit defeat. Okay. Um Fair enough. Yeah, they just They were hoping that Mystic Mind plus like DD Crows to stop like the little loop would be enough, but, you know, they play Judgment, and Judgment allowed them to go ahead and get out of that, so, who's next? Next name is Nesh, so, now we're going to see Nesh versus Amshan Pittman, and then, we're going to go ahead and see Nesh win the Rock, Paper, Scissors suit, decide to go first, 43 versus 41, opening hands, we have Desires, Ash, Imperm, Mo Yi, Imperm, so his hand's really relying on this. And then they have Gamma, Invocation, Prosperity, Invocation, Droll. So their hand's really relying on this. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, they have other cards to, like, help them stay protected. But, you know, the only card that actually does anything in both hands is Desires and Prosperity at this point. We see Protoss in the main deck, Heavenly Dragon Circle. Uh, they play the something, Too Long Young's one away. And they draw on the Valor and Mo Yi, so their hand is all multiples. And they get hit with Droll. They just pass, draw Driver, and then activate Prosperity. Prosperity to go Banish 6. And then look at the top 6. We're going to see Ash, Terraforming, Alistair, Punishment, Gamma. I thought they were about to grab Celestial there. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> so it looks like they're just grabbing Alistair. And then normal summon out Alistair, get rid of it, go for Amirage, activate Invocation, and then that's going to get rid of Driver and Alistair, go for Makaba. Invocation, grab the Alistair, and then they're going to get rid of those. Okay, um, I don't agree with this. I mean, you're playing into Valor and Imperm extremely hard. And it's not like you activated Alistair Effect, so they haven't even had anything to hit with these cards yet. So they're going to activate the effect, chain Valor, and then attack. Uh, it should only be 250, yeah. And then pass, draw Ashina, and then Ashina, special summon itself out. And then normal summon Mo Yi, Mo Yi, reveal Mo Yi, summon out the token. Um, so Nesh knows that they have Invocation and Alistair in hand because they didn't activate Alistair effect on summon and they know that they play two of it. So they know that these two are in hand, this is a blank. And then get rid of those, go for Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Mo Yi, so draw Emergence, go search out Long Young. I mean, this is game. Emergence, go search Tai Yi. And then they're going to link away from Monk. 
banish the special summon out of Vishuda. Um, okay, so... Decides to not go for game. Um, plays around, like, the last card being Nib, which I can respect. This will uh, go ahead and poke. Main phase two. Turn this into a shaman. Shaman, discard Tai to special summon out the Tai. And then Tai effect. Banish, summon, and then get rid of those. Go for Draco Berserker. And then Tai effect the dump. And Tai will go ahead and dump the Ashuna. And then set two Imperm, pass, draw Fusion Destiny. So they're going to set Alistair, activate Invocation, resolves. So banish Alistair, Makaba, go for Agos. Agos effect to try to pop Grandmaster, chain Grandmaster to out that. And then Invocation effect, Invocation will go ahead, put itself back, grab the Alistair. And then battle phase, attack. Um, you know, they're going to drop the Alistair there. Um, just to go ahead and crash. And then main phase two, fusion destiny, chain ash blossom, chain gamma. Uh, but they still just lose here. So they summon out gamma, they summon out driver. They can't do anything with those this turn because fusion destiny. And then enforcer honestly just gets hit with imperm right here at the end phase. And then it can get hit with grandmaster next turn. So, yeah, they go ahead and admit defeat. Now moving on into game two. We are going to see the Invoke deck go first, opening hands. We have Ash, Vishuda, Long Young, Vishuda, Evenly. And they have Fusion Destiny, Judgment, Alistair, Meltdown, Gamma. So, ooh, yeah. So usually if you open this, you'd go ahead and summon Alistair first to play around Droll. But they want to get hit by Droll. And they also want to get hit by Ash there. So they get to go ahead, drop Gamma. And then Gamma will go ahead and summon that out. Go switch Alistair. We know they play Omega. This is really, really good. Omega's going to hit evenly. Let's go. Let's go hit the evenly. And it... Oh, oh okay. Hits Long Young. Hey, that, that's still a good hit, though. That's still a good hit. Summon Alistair effect. And then that's going to go search out the Invocation. I, I, I mean, their hand is just really good, especially after, like, resolving that Gamma. Go for Makaba, Invocation, grab the Alistair. Fusion Destiny, dump the bricks, summon out Enforcer. Set Judgment, pass, draw Desires. And then they're going to go end of main phase, go to battle phase, and then battle phase evenly, chain Judgment, say no to that. And then activate Desires. Desires go Banish. So Banish 10. You know, they only have two Interruptions here. And they have a way to deal with one of them. Uh, we see... Like an Adara and an Ashina go away there. No nothing crazy. Drill Summit and Mo Yi. Um, so they're going to Special out Vashuda. Get rid of that for Monk. Um, so. They're going to go ahead and Vashuda to try to bounce Makaba. Chain Makaba to stop that. Then normal summon Mo Yi effect. Reveal Vashuda. Summon out a token. And now they're going to enforce her. Ooh, what do they pop? What do they pop? Ah, pops token. And then enforce your graveyard effect. They admit the feat. Going on into game three now. We are going to go ahead and see Sword Soul go first. Opening hands, we have Long Young, Desires, Tai, Judgment, Adara. And then they have Droplet, Droll, Droplet, Ecclesia, Dasher. So they have one like actual card in their hand that's going to do anything next turn. Um, activate Desires. Well, I mean, Droplet will do something, but like actually allow them to play. We see Proto, something, Blackout go there. Um, old one of draw draw and emergence and then they're gonna drop their own draw they're gonna special summon out long young by discarding go for token get rid of those go for floor long young burn the opponent for 12 and then they're gonna normal summon out tai tai banish summon out token and then they can use adara to add back long young here which is really good 
And then get rid of those. Go for the Omega. Ooh, Omega's going to be nasty here, too. Omega can put back from the Banished. So, we're going to get Tai. Well, that's only if they save it. It's honestly a pretty decent chance that they just go ahead and activate the effect. Try to wipe something from the hand. But, I mean, if you think about it, like... Um, this Omega, ah, wow, well, there's too much to think about, because, like, if you activate Omega, it's going to take a card out of hand, which makes Droplet worse, because then, you know, they have one less card, but if you have Omega on board, then they're going to Droplet to hit Omega, otherwise you're just going to Omega to hit, like, the, like, the starter in their hand, um, but then also, like, if Omega hits something like a Prosperity, then that makes Droplet worse, so there's, like, a, there's, like, a lot of, like, interactions between, like, Omega and Droplet. If you actually think about it a lot. They draw Fusion Destiny. Then Standby Phase Omega. What do they put back? They put back the black out there. Yeah, that that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Fusion Destiny. And then they're going to Chain Omega. Chain Droplet. Getting rid of two. And then Chain Judgment. So Omega hits the Dasher. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Next is Elijah 14. Wow, that, I, that... That was kind of insane. That was kind of insane. But... Alright. We are going to go ahead and hop into the last match. We have Nesh versus Elijah Green 14. And then... This is big. This is big. We're going to see Elijah win it. And they're going to go ahead, they're going to go first, 40 versus 43, opening hands, we have Valor, Desires, Tai, Desires, Imperms, so two hand traps going second, they have Barry, Fractal, Prosperity, Sparrow, and Called By, so it's one hand trap going second. And then activate Prosperity, Prosperity, go ahead and banish three, so uh, Duality, go ahead, and they're going to grab the Wagtail there, alright. Put the rest back to the bottom of the deck. Kind of a weird hand, but I mean it works. Uh, it's better than just like bricking. Fractal, dump Nerval, Nerval effect, Nerval. Go search out Kit and a normal summon Kit. Kit effect, the banish, and then they're gonna chain Imperm on that. Yeah, that's uh, that's tough. So. Now pass, draw Heavenly Dragon Circle, and then activate Desires. Desires, banish 10. We're going to see Summit, Blackout, Too Long Young, Nadara. Draws Mo Yi and Imperm. Yeah, that's that's nice. Normal Summon Mo Yi, Effect, Reveal Tai Yi, and then Summon out a Token. Get rid of those, go for Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Mo Yi, Chain Called By. Um, go search out Long Young, but this is just game, right? Cause they just turn those into uh into Supreme, and then Supreme gang sixteen, so it's at forty six plus twelve burn, which is fifty eight, and they only need twenty two, and it's at twenty eight, so yeah, it's game. Then go for Supreme burn. And then battle phase, attack, and then, yeah. So, going on to game two now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see the bird deck go first. Opening hands, we have Imperm, Valor, Emergence, Protos, DD Crow. So, three hand traps this time around, not just two. Um, once again, like, still having the Imperm, which is very strong. Protos is really good versus the deck. If you can hand trap, like, if you hand trap them and then you go ahead, you summon Protos and call wind, it's just handshake at that point. And they have Trap Trick, Bird Call, Apex Avion, Kit, and Tanky. Interesting that they're playing this. This is for the uh, the Harpies to go ahead and, like, as a thought, your opponent for a turn. So, Bird Call. Bird Call. Go search out Warbler. And then activate Tanky. Tanky to go search Fractal. And then Fractal Effect the Dump. And then that's going to go dump the Sparrow, Special Summon out, Warbler, Warbler Effect, and then 
They're going to chain DD Crow, hit that out of the graveyard. So this can't resolve. And then normal summon kit, get rid of those, go for Blossom. Kit effect to dump Nerval, Nerval effect to go search. And then Nerval, go ahead and search out Fractal. And then Blossom to summon out Fractal. Fractal effect, banish four for Omen, but that's going to get hit with Veiler. Set Trap Trick, which if they kept Imperm in, then Imperm will be good off of this. Pass, draw Vashuda. Vashuda to go ahead and special summon itself out. And then turn that into a Monk. Vashuda to bounce. Kind of feel like they don't have Imperm. Feel like they probably would have just like gone ahead and activated this at the start of the turn, which would have played in the Vashuda very hard, but would have also been able to hit something like a Mo Yi. And then Trap Trick. Yeah, they're just gonna go set the uh, Harpy's Feather Storm, and then Emergence. Go search out Tai Yi. Then Normal Summon out Tai Yi. Tai Yi Effect. Banish the Emergence. Summon. And then get rid of those. Go for Baxia. Baxia. Tai Yi. They're going to shuffle two back. And then go dump a Mo Yi. Baxia. Pop. Special. Effect. Reveal. Token. And then once again, they're just going to OTK their opponent. Go for Grandmaster. Grandmaster Mo Yi. Draw Ecclesia. Go search out Long Young. And also that, that Ecclesia draw is like really good because if they were to get hit with something here, then they would have follow-up. And then just get rid of those. Um, they're going to go into the floor, burn them for 12. And then effect pop fractal, battle phase, go for game. So, yep, that is going to be it for the Iron Man. Wow, we really just saw Elijah Green. Just, it, it wasn't even close. Like, both games, it was absolute destruction by Nesh. Like, it just straight OTK'd. Like, tough. That was tough. I want to see how, far, well, how long that match was. That's still, like, 22 minutes long. I Like, obviously, they want to play it correctly. Um, Bird Up's, like, a big combo deck. A very, very, very heavy combo deck. You don't want to mess that up. I mean, same, like... You know, this deck isn't as heavy as a combo deck, but it's still a deck, like, you obviously don't want to mess up, especially when it's, like, the final match of an Iron Man and this match. Whoever wins this match right here, their team is going to win. So, now we're going to see Team 1 win the $150. Team 2 is now down $150, which sucks for them, but it happens. There's always a loser. One of these is always a winner and a loser. Um, you know, it sucks to lose, but happens. Um, that was... Not a bad Iron Man. Not bad. Um, so that that's really it for this. Um, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord. Link down below in the description if you want to go ahead and play in Iron Mans or anything like that. It's also going to be a 3v3 Coliseum tournament coming up soon. Um, like I said, I'll have the flyer out for that once I get it. Um, I guess it's just like building up a little bit of hype for it. You, you know how it is. You know how it is. Uh, and with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.